Hey, what's going on, guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. I hope everybody had a great weekend. On Friday, I won 1,500 euro for the third episode in a row. That was converted to $1,500, and that brought my overall total to $33,188,000. So, today is Valentine's Day. This is the first Valentine's Day episode of the series because Valentine's Day has been on the weekend the last couple of years, and this is, of course, a weekday series. So I'm not the biggest fan of Valentine's Day, I'm going to be completely honest. So really the only difference in today's game is I've added a fourth lifeline. Okay, I've created a brand new lifeline. It's, uh, it's a Valentine's Day lifeline only. It's called the Plus Two. And what this is, is this lifeline allows me to ask a couple for their uh, their help on, the, on a question that I'm stuck on. So, you know, I, I, I could ask my sister and my brother-in-law or my parents or my brother and his fiance or whatever i i you know i can ask uh i can ask any really any couple but my plus plus two for today's game is my parents because they've been together for over 30 years uh they're actually going to be celebrating their 32nd wedding anniversary this summer so they are my plus two for today's game and i am very excited uh, other than that everything's the same uh well actually i should probably also explain that for today's game i'm going to be playing the australian Go game boy advance version of millionaire i won't be playing the 2020 pc version in spanish so i'm good yeah i'm just gonna say that uh, so, if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and do this. This is, this is the same version of Millionaire that I played in Season 1 of the series. Alright, let's do this! So, here we go. Here's the first question. Auckland is the largest city of which of the Aus Australia's neighbors? Uh, it, um, New Zealand. Okay, there's $100. Next question is for 200. What do we call someone who rides a bicycle? Yeah, Cyclops, uh, cyclist. All right, that's $200. Next question for 300. How do we describe the small print in a contract setting the conditions of matters of, of detail? Um, fine print, <laughs> wet, wet print, yeah. Okay, $300. Next up, the $500 question. What is the fat between the skin and muscle of whales? Blubber. Okay, that's $500. And now we are going for 1,000. This is the first guaranteed level of the game, which is these, is inflammation of one or both lungs. Pneumonia. There we go. $1,000 and got through the first five questions without having to use the lifeline, so that's good. Okay, 10 away from 1 million. Whew. Let's uh, let's keep this going. Next up is the second, or excuse me, I, I saw t t 2,000 and I thought second, no. It's the sixth question for $2,000. Which of these art movements develop, developed last? I'm not actually 100% sure, so I'm gonna ask the audience just to be just to be on the safe side. I want to get to at least 32,000. That would be nice. Okay, 54% say B. That's more than half. I will trust that. You know, in this game, normally uh, you, you only have three lifelines, but today I've got I've got four. I mean, normally in the series I have four because you, you you're actually given four lifelines in the 2020 PC version. Um, but in this version, normally it's only three lifelines. So I'm okay with using one on that. I mean, I really do not know the answer to that, but. So yeah, the correct answer was pop art. Got $2,000, three lifelines left. Here we go. Next question is for 4,000. Let's see what it is. Sir Edmund Hillary was the first to conquer Mount Everest in which decade? I'm gonna use my plus two. Um, I could phone a friend, but I think I think my mom or my dad would know this, so I'll 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 use the plus two right now. 
Okay, so I have my parents here. Say hi. 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 They, um, uh, they've they been married for almost 32 years. And Ooh. being married for that long, I mean, being, being married to someone like Dad, that would be uh, that'd be quite the accomplishment. He deserves a medal. <laughs> well, so, so you. So are you. Hey. Okay, so here's the question. Sir Edmund Hillary was the first to conquer Mount Everest in which decade? Which decade? 1950s, 1920s, 1930s, 1940s. Dad, you were around in yeah, the... Yeah, I, I know this one. Yeah, it's the 50s because it was 1953. Well, he's older than me. So well, he, you know what? He was born in the 50s, That's so he right, should right. know that. That's right. That Way long before, before my time. That happened a few years before I was born. Yeah, it was the 1950s. Well, Dad was only born 10 years before the Leafs last won the Stanley Cup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll say 1950s. What do you think, Linda? Good. Woohoo! Did you know that one? No. <laughs> Well, thank you guys. No problem. Thank that, you very that, much. That was, that was a You're question. Actually that was knew. fun. That was fun. I actually knew that one. All right, so it's good that he knew that. Uh, so there we go. Four thousand. Two lifelines left. We're going for eight thousand right now. Here we go. Which of these European countries is a republic? Republic of Norway. Republic of Spain. No. I think it's either Norway or Portugal. It's 50-50. Portugal. I almost went with Norway. It's not Spain. <sighs> there we go. I almost went with Norway. I made the right call using the 50-50. Okay, there we go. 8,000. That's awesome. Still have the phone a friend. We're going out for $16,000. So here we go. $16,000 question now. Which of these films does not start Ben Affleck? The only one I'm pretty sure another answer is Rounders. I'm gonna have to use my last lifeline because I uh not sure. Paycheck it could be paycheck. Paycheck or bounce maybe. I I I really don't know to be honest. Let's see what the phone has to say. Hopefully they will help. Wow, what a what a surprise, eh? What a real surprise. Um, all right, let's go with paycheck. If it's not paycheck, it's bounce. <laughs> Dude, that was the only one I thought was not the right answer. Wow, that's hilarious. Okay, so then there was no way I was getting that right. Oh well, one thousand dollars. That. Uh, could have been better, but I guess it could have been worse. I could have won a hundred <laughs> or nothing, I guess. So that is it for today. Uh, that's it for the for, that's it for the Valentine's Day episode. So one thousand dollars that we have that in over, overall total that brings it up to thirty three million one hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow I'll be back to the P the Spanish PC version. Thanks, guys, for watching and happy Valentine's Day. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out.